Welcome to Electron Online. Our next example where we're going to solve a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula. Notice we don't have a 1 in front of the x squared term, we have a 6. That's different from the previous example. So let's see what that looks like when we apply the quadratic formula on something like this. Again, we need to recognize what our coefficients are. So in this case, a is equal to 6, b is equal to 13, and c is equal to 6. So let's go ahead and plug those numbers into our quadratic formula. So that means that we have x is equal to minus b, since b is 13, that's a minus 13, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 13 squared, minus 4, times a, which is 6, times c, which is 6, all divided by 2 times a, that would be 2 times 6. And now all we have to do is simplify that and see what we get. So x is equal to minus 13 plus or minus the square root. The square root of 13 is 169 minus 4 times 6 times 6. 6 times 6 is 36. Twice that is 72. Twice that is 144. All divided by 12. So simplifying that more, we get x is equal to minus 13 plus or minus 169 minus 144 is the square root of 25 divided by 12. That means that x is equal to minus 13 plus or minus 5 over 12. And so continuing on over here, that means that x is equal to minus 13 plus 5 over 12, or x is equal to minus 13 minus 5 over 12. So those are the two possible solutions. So minus 13 plus 5 is minus 8 over, over 12. So x equals minus 8 over 12, or x is equal to minus 18 over 12. So that means that x is equal to minus 2 thirds, or x is equal to minus 3 over 2. And those are the two possible solutions, not two possible, those are the two actual solutions of our original uh, quadratic equation. So again, once you identify what a, b, and c are equal to, and you remember the quadratic formula correctly, you just plug in all the numbers and you crank, and that is how you find the solutions to your quadratic equation. So that is how it's done.